Hi again, this is John Galfano and I'm um, coming to you today with just a quick little tutorial on uh, fixing photos. Um, obviously this photo has a lot going on with it, a lot wrong with it. Um, I shot it this way intentionally. Um, you can see obviously some of my equipment sitting here. Uh, the image is rotated counterclockwise. Um, there's serious major perspective control problems. Uh, I'm standing straight up here and I have my camera tilted down and so you can see what happens to the to the your sort of the edges of the photo when you um, tilt and move the camera around um, and we're gonna fix that okay so here we have our very poorly photographed photo and it's really unfortunate um, but we see a lot of this stuff uh, in the MLS and it's it's really too bad um, it's it just screams amateur and um, should have been you know should have been done better so um, if any real estate agents are watching this uh, and if you have Photoshop and you shot your own listings and this is what came off your camera, I'm gonna show you how to fix it. In Photoshop, um, we have the rulers visible. If you don't have the rulers visible, go to view rulers and make sure it's checkmarked. See now it's not checkmarked, they're gone. View rulers brings them back. Uh, hit the V on your keyboard. That brings up the move tool. Uh, okay, so the first thing we're going to address is the rotation. So I'm going to come up here, click the ruler, and I'm going to drag down a guideline. This is a known straight line, and I'm assuming that this little countertop back here uh, is, is going to be a nice horizontal line that I can sort of match this up with. Another thing you can do is grab one of the vertical lines, uh, bring that to the middle. There's really nothing in the middle to line up to, so I'm going to stick one over here whoops and stick one over here and um, okay now I'm ready to rotate the photo hold down I'm on a PC hold down control and then uh, push the, the your keyboard a and then T that brings up the transform window uh, up in the corner you can see this little um, bent arrow line you can then just click and hold and drag the photo wherever you want so I'm looking at that countertop back there and I'm thinking that might be okay click enter to accept the changes. I'm going to zoom in here. Uh, I think I went a little too far, but just for the sake of this uh, tutorial and speed, I'm going to say that that's okay. And now we'll move on to uh, addressing these issues. Okay, to address these vertical problems, um, I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this horizontal line because I don't need it. And um, I'm going to drag these guys out towards the edges. Um, and what's going to happen is I'm going to I'm going to pull the bottom uh, corners of the image out and uh, straighten up these lines and these are my guidelines to work off of. So um, I'm going to press and hold control again, control and then A and T and uh, right click anywhere in the photo and choose perspective. What perspective is going to do is when I grab, let's say this corner, it's going to also affect the other corner equally. So we're going to pull these out until we, I'm looking at the doorway on the right and that's close enough. So hit enter and uh, we'll take a look. This side, uh, uh, we're, we're close. We're pretty darn close. I'm going to say that that's, again, for the speed of this thing, um, I'm going to say that's okay. Control D, we'll deselect. And yeah, the left side needs a little bit more work. Uh, let's do that real quick. So control A, T right click and this time I'm going to choose skew. What skew does is it just affects one corner. So I'm going to tug that out just ever so much and say okay. Deselect that and that's looking at least a little bit better. Now what happened though is since we pulled this so far we've squashed the image. You know it just looks like a little miniature doorway. Everything just looks squashed. So uh, what we can do now is try to fix that by choosing again, holding control, A, T, and just sort of pulling the image back up. And there is really no guide here. It's just sort of a looky thing. Um, and that's looking a little bit better. Enter, okay. And uh, there you go. Uh, to get rid of the guidelines, view, clear guides, and uh, there's your photo. It's looking a lot better. I probably went a little too far. This side's still not, I'm not happy with this. Uh, but anyway, this um, gives you a way to fix some of those perspective problems 
that uh, that you find yourself in um, when you tilt the camera around and uh, don't hire me to come do these things for you. <laughs> so anyway, hope that was helpful, and we'll see you next time.